Your internet connection is important so that you can work, learn, and play from home and stay in touch with your friends and loved ones. If you're having trouble with your internet connection, this video will cover the most common troubleshooting steps for your gateway. Some people call the gateway a modem. If your gateway is receiving power, the light should be on. If the lights are not on, check that the power adapter is plugged into your gateway and also connected to a power outlet. The next steps will depend on whether you have fiber or DSL internet. For a fiber connection, you'll have an ethernet cable running from the gateway's white WAN port over to the optical network terminal, or ONT. It's what connects our fiber network cables to the wiring in your home. For DSL connection, you'll have a phone cable running from the gateway's green DSL port to your phone jack. If you have any devices that you connect to your modem with an ethernet cord, those will be plugged in any of the four yellow LAN ports. On the T3260 gateway, if the power light is solid red or yellow, this indicates the modem did not boot up properly. Try plugging the gateway into a different power outlet. If the gateway is currently plugged into a power strip or surge protector, bypass that and plug it directly into the wall. If all the lights are on and don't indicate any gateway malfunction, follow these steps next. Unplug the power from the gateway for at least 30 seconds. If you have anything attached to the gateway, such as a router, also unplug that for at least 30 seconds. Check that the phone cord is securely connected at both the gateway and the wall. If your service is DSL, you may also have a filter at your phone jack. You can bypass it and plug the phone cord directly into the jack. If that restores your connection, the filter has gone bad. You'll also want to make sure the phone cord itself is relatively short. Anything longer than 15 feet could cause service degradation. If these steps do not fix your problem, you can chat with us from the GoKinetic app or from gokinetic.com support. Click the video on screen to learn more.